Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. One thing I forgot to tell you there, that is, see, uh, I think uh, this one, okay? When I was finding the cutting length of the top extra bar, this portion, top extra bar, yeah. So what we happened, what happened is I took uh, 750. For, to get 750, what I did, I did uh, L by 4, that is 3000 divided by 4. But from, but where it is written L by 4, so if I show you the cross section, you see it here. So in this cross section, they have written L by 4. So this L by 4 is applicable for the crank length also. And also this is your top extra. You can see the gray color one, isn't it? So that is your top extra. For that also it is L by 4. Okay, this is also L by 4. And this crank length, whatever you have now from here to here, this crank length, that is also L by 4. Okay, that is why I took for the top extra L by 4. Now, in few cases, it won't be L by 4 all the time. Your crank will be L by 4, but finding the top extra, it will be sometimes L by 3. In that case, you are supposed to take L by 3 for the top extra bar. But here, for my simplification, I have taken L by 4 on both the sides. And we are doing it for the first time. That, I, that is the reason I have taken L by 4 for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Now, I will show you the practical use of that. So, in future lectures, we will be trying to work out the BBS for this complete build. Not, I mean, complete building, but at least 3 to 4 panels, I will explain you. So, here, if you observe, can you see here? It's written L by 3. For which one? This is your top extra bar. This bar, what you can see, isn't it? This is your top extra. From the center, he, has, he is telling it has to be L by 3. But now for our calculation, we took it as L by 4. But here is telling L by 3. But whereas this crank length, this crank, whatever you can see, you know, this bar has come here. It has got crank. So this crank, you should take L by 4 from the center. That we took. But this is L by 3 sometimes given in the drawing. Okay, great. Now. Practically, if you had asked me, this is how it looks. Okay, of course, I had shown you, but again, I'll show it once again. This is a clear image what I have. See, this is your top extra we had taken. Okay, so according to our calculation, I did L by 4. But according to the drawing, if you ask me, it should be L by 3. Okay, it will be L by 3. Got it. Now, what will be L? So, L usually we take from clear span. Some people take it from center to center. This clear span we had, right? From here to here, it was how much? 3000 mm. So, you do that. 3000 divided by 3 if you do, right, L by 3. So it will be 1000 mm. So this length, what you get, no, this is 1000 mm. This will be 1000 mm. Okay, from where? From here to here. That is, from here to here, it is 1000 mm. Whereas this portion is going into the beam. So again, beam is 230. Minus one cover if I do, I'll get the total cutting length. Got it, no? So just to, I took one case for you to understand, for you make, for you to make understand. Rest all things you can see from here. Everywhere the top extra has come. See, they have put a top extra here. Top extra. Then again, these two crank. Again, the top extra has been put up. In this side also, you can see that crank and crank. This is top extra. Crank and crank, top extra, right? So you can see that, right? That is how it has to be done. Again, it is a one-way slab. Why? Because you can see the crank in this portion and crank in this portion. Here, there is no crank. But if you do the crank in all the four directions, it becomes a two-way slab. And that is what we are going to see now. Yeah. First, I'll show you the image for the two-way slab. So, this is how a two-way slab looks. So, just don't get confused. I'll draw a border for our identification. So, this is one beam. This is second beam we have. This is the third beam and this is the fourth beam. So this is one complete slab. So it becomes my two-way slab. The reason is that, so I'm bringing a bar from here, giving a crank, taking it like this. Then I'm bringing another bar from here, giving a crank, taking it like this. This is one side I've done. If I do the same thing on the other side, that is from here, you see, bar has been brought, got a crank, took it here. From here, I brought a bar, gave a crank, took it here. So this becomes my two-way slab. So crank is given in both the direction. Shorter anyhow you have to give, it, whether it is one way or two way. In longer direction, this is long, longer direction. In one way it was a straight bar, but here also we give a crank. So this is called as a two-way slab. Other than that, crank distributor remains the same. Top extra also you are supposed to give. Okay. This much is understood. I have shown you the practical image of this. And now we'll do the calculation for the two-way slab.
okay fine so let us consider i have a slab whose uh, length is 5000 mm this is 5000 and this uh, breadth is 5000 and length is 7000 so first i'll start my bar in this way this is my first bar then again next bar will come like this this way this way so alternate crank will come first bar will be placed along the shorter span okay done so you can find the cutting length already we had done in the previous case same thing what you do take outer to outer always so 230 plus this is 5000 plus 230 minus 25 minus 25 then for this we have to add this crank length so crank length is 0 0.42 into h again h you take uh, 100 mm from the previous case because my slab thickness is 150 minus 20 from the top minus 20 from the bottom and one bar diameter you have to do that will be 0 0.42 into h minus the bend deduction we have 245 degree bend 145 is 1d so 2 into 1 into d same thing i've done do the calculation you should get 5432 mm which is 5.432 meter is a cutting length of this bar so shorter span is done in dust state we'll go to the longer span now now number of bar so number of bar what you find so since you're putting the bar in the shorter span you have to take the length now so this is 7000 divided by spacing let us consider 200 mm add one to that so 7000 divided by 200 plus 1 will give you 36 number of bar. Let me do that. Yeah, 36 number of bar. Try to do it. You'll get the answer. Now, this is your longer span bar. But again, it's a two-way slab. So this also will be a crank bar. So first you start your bar here. You give a crank. You brought it here. Now again, alternate. Now this bar will go get a crank. It will take taken to that side. So same procedure follows. This is how you put practically the bar. Now you have to find the cutting length of this. Whatever you did in the shorter span bar, whatever you did to find this particular rebar cutting length, same method you adopt here. Again, take outer to outer, okay, 230 plus this length 7000 plus 230 minus one cover from here, minus one cover from here. Crank length is 0 0.42 into H. This time your H value will not be 100 mm. Okay, I'll explain you why it is not 100 mm. Okay, and then the bend direction, right? Now you see here, 230 plus this 7000 straight length plus 230 this one minus one cover from here minus one cover from here okay plus 0 0.42 into h h i had taken 100 mm for the shorter span now for the longer i'm taking 90 why now try to understand already in the shorter span your bar has gone this bar the longer span bar is coming over this bar so total was 150 top 25 cover i deducted bottom 25 cover i deducted then again what i did what i did another 10 diameter bar i deducted right for the short for which one for the own bar i deducted now again the shorter span this longer span bar also i need to deduct right so let me put it in a better way i think uh, yeah i'll draw it here only previous case what i had done yeah this was the thing what we did isn't it now in the two-way slab what happens now this bar, whatever you have, this bar will be put up on this particular bar. Yeah. I'll draw one image here. So this is your shorter span bar, which has gone. Over that only your longer span bar will come. Okay. Shorter span bar. Over that, your longer span bar will come. Hmm. So now you tell me this calculation. What happened? Okay, leave. I'll do it here. Yeah. Hmm. Fine. So now it's a two-way slab. So again, one fifty is the thickness you had. You will direct the top cover. This is your top cover. 25 mm you will detect. 25 right? Slap no. So 20 mm you will detect. So you will reach up to the top of this. Bottom also 20 mm you are going to do the detection. Okay. So if you do the 20 mm detection, you will come here. Not here. This time you will come to this. Now, I want height up to where? Top of this rebar to the top of this rebar. Okay. So 150 minus 20 minus 20 minus this 
bar I need to detect. What is this bar? This is a shorter span bar. Over that only a longer is coming. So shorter span bar already I have told use a 10 diameter bar. So minus 10 for this. Okay. Minus 10 for this. And minus, see, in the top what I am taking here, here, here what I am taking this bar. Blue color is also 10 diameter bar. So 10 minus 10 you have to do for the longer direction. I mean in case of a 2S lab. You are getting my point no? So this bar is already coming. This is your shorter span bar. And this is the own uh, longer span bar. Okay. This bar also if I deduct. Only then I will get the height from here to here. So simple calculation. If you, if you are getting confused. Simple. Whatever you got in the longer. Whatever you got in the shorter span. The H whatever you got. While you are calculating for the 2 slab, slab, This H will be. Whatever is the diameter of the bar. That you need to deduct. If your longer span die is 8 mm. In that case you should have deducted minus 8. But here both the bar. Shorter and longer both are 10 diameter, so don't no no problem. If you your longer span bar was 8 mm, so again here minus 8 you are supposed to do. That's it. Okay. Okay. Got it. No. Fine. The same thing I've done it here. Okay. So minus 0. Point, so plus 0. 0.42 into 90 I've done. Okay. And do the calculation, you should get 7427, which is 7.427 meters. So the cutting length of this longer span bar, okay, it is 7.427 meters. Now come to the number of bar. So number of bar, the bar is being put in this direction. The bars are being put in this direction. So this length is 5000. 5000 divided by the spacing. So spacing is again, let us say 200. So 5000 divided by 200 plus 1. So it will come out to be 26 number of bar. Got it? So shorter span bar I have found out. I found the cutting length of that. Longer span cutting length I found, I found the number of bar. Now what is left out? Exactly. Crank distributor is left out and then the top extra bar is left out, right? Now, we'll start with that. Now crank distributor. So how do you find the crank distributor? You know how a crank distributor will look now, okay? Next is we'll find with the number of uh, top. Okay, this is top extra bar. Okay, I'll start with this and crank extra. Yeah. Yeah. Now is uh, number of top distribution bar or let us say crank distributor along the shorter span. So how you will find this? For that I'll do one image here. This was a slab what I had. Shorter span and longer span. I want to find the crank distributor. So this side, some bar will come. Let us say this is my crank distributor. Cutting length will be same. Let us say one, two, three bar I'll draw here, crank distributor. This is along the shorter span, okay? Three, yeah. So now number of top dist number of uh, top distribution bar or crank distributor along the shorter span. So this is how much? So this is L by four, no? Where your top distributor will come? L by 4 distance. So this was 5000. You are getting my point? No? I'll write 5000. This is 5000. Or I'll write 5000. And this was 7000. Hmm? And this crank distributor, whatever you put up. This crank distributor. Whatever you put like from here to here. This here. This length will be L by 4. So L is 5000. 5000 divided by 4 is 12, 1250. Right? So 1250 is a length. And the spacing between these two crank distribute is 200. So 1250 divided by 200 plus 1. So 8 number of bar. So 8 number of bar you get on one side. Since you are putting on both the sides. So 8 into 2 is 16 number of bar will come. Understood no? So 8 number of bar crank distributor will come here. And 8 will come here. Now next is. You want to find the cutting length. So cutting length will be again outer to outer. Minus 1 cover from here. Minus 1 cover from here. So outer to outer will be. This is. Your beam will come here right. This will be a beam on this side. You will have a beam here. 230. You will have a beam on this side also. 230. You will have a beam on this side. 230. You will have a beam on this side. 230. Got it? Yeah. Now tell me. So outer to outer will be 230. Plus this will be 7000. Plus 230. Minus 1 cover from here. Minus 1 cover from here. Same thing I have done. 230. Plus 7000 plus 230 minus 1 cover from here minus 1 cover from here. So the cutting length of your distribution bar is 7.4 and that is a top distributor. Got my point? 
Hmm? This bar will go completely. Now don't tell sir, uh, this bar is unknown. This bar I didn't draw. At it will go from this end to this end. This bar will go from this end to this end. Bar will go to this end to this end. Okay, because beam I draw, I have drawn later. That is why. Hmm. Now, shorter span we did. In the same way, your longer span also crank distribution will come. Here also crank distribution will come. Like this. Where is that? Like this. Crank distribution will come. This is your longer span. Hmm? So this cutting length also I want to find. I want to find the number of bar also. Again what you will find? Number of top distribution bar or crank distribution along the longer span. So this, how much is this one? This is 7000. So L by 4, 7000 divided by 4 is 1750. So this length, this length, whatever you have, no? This length from here to here and from here to here. This is 1750 on both the side because 7000 divided by 4 will be 1750. So 1750 is a length where your crank distributor will come. Spacing between the bar is 200. So 1750 divided by 200 plus 1 you do, you get 10 number of bar. So 10 number of crank distributor will come here and 10 number of crank distributor will come here. So 10 into 2 is 20. So that is why 20 numbers I have written. Getting my point? Why? Yeah. So whenever you are finding on this side, you have to take this length. So 7000 divided by 4 I did. So 1750 I got. Okay. Got it. Now find the cutting length of this. Cutting length is very simple. This is 5000. This is 230. This is 230. Take outer to outer. 230 plus 5000 plus 230 minus 1 cover from here. Minus one cover from here. Same thing. I've done it here. Two thirty plus five thousand plus two thirty minus twenty five minus twenty five five four one zero five point one four meter five point four one meter. Got it. So more ninety percent of my BBC is ready. Last one portion is left out. That is your top extra bar. Okay. Now last one portion which is left out is a top extra bar. So for a top extra bar, I'll take this top extra bar in the next lecture. Up to here you practice. You understand, you try to understand shorter span bar, cutting length of shorter span and number of shorter span bar, longer span, uh, crank length, how to find and how to find the number of bar. And also try to understand how to find the crank distributor on the shorter span and on the longer span. So only one addition what we learned so far in this lecture compared to my previous one way is in the longer span also crank bar will come. That we understood. And your crank distributor in one way slab only on the shorter span your crank distributor used to come. But in the two way slab on the shorter also it will come. And on the longer also. Here also it will come. All the four side your crank distributor bar will come. So in the next lecture I will teach you how the top extra bar has to be found. So we will see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.